What it do, YouTube? This is Brian, and you're watching. So what are we doing today? Well, right now I'm gassing up. I'm gassing everything up. I gotta put gas in the Gravely, I gotta put gas in the errands, and I gotta put two cycle gas in the two cycle gas can. So let me get this done, and I'll be right back with you. All right, y'all, I'm back in the truck. Got gas, everything gassed up. Got two cycle gas, got gas in both mowers, so we should be good for a few days anyway, at least in the mowers. So before we get into this though, be sure and click the like button, the subscribe button, click the notification bell and share these videos, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I want to get a hundred likes on this video. I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, I want a hundred likes on this video. The reason I want the likes is because liking the video makes it go higher in the algorithm. So like these videos. If you're new to this channel, welcome number one. Number two, be sure and click that like button, please. And if you like the content of this video, you like the, the, the way this channel is done, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate that also. Anyway, we're going to get there and I'm going to show you what we got to do. So y'all stay tuned. repo place right there. Now that construction pad right there is where I've got to work. I've got to cut everything around it. Don't look like there's nothing but a bunch of dang dandelions. And I'll just pull over here and let you let you see it. As a matter of fact, let me do this. There's this side of it. You know what? Heck, fire. I'll just pull over here and take you on a drive around. When they get this built, I think they're fixing to go into phase two. Uh, when they get this built, it'll be a 44,000 seat all-purpose built, or a 44,000 square foot all-purpose building and they're building houses back there not not this place but a uh, that's a neighborhood there most of these houses over in here ain't even been moved into yet now, this is the back side of it now I'm gonna set you I'm gonna do section by section and that way you can keep up with what I'm doing so I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna get going with this I was beginning to think I wasn't going to be able to work today because when I got up this morning, it was raining. And as you can see, it's right cloudy. And it's even worse over toward the west. But anyway, we're going to get it done.
In case you didn't hear what I said, I hate dandelions. You can't cut them. I can't see straight. I absolutely hate dandelions. Well, I'm heading to the next one. I hate dandelions. Um, when they're young and tender, they lay down on the ground like this and they don't start standing back up until they get mature and then they get mature, they stand up and reach to the sun. Well, when that happens, the stem gets so, so tough and thick that unless you have razor sharp blades, it won't cut, it'll just lay it down. And then you look behind you and it's standing right back up. And that's why you saw me having to keep doing like this and like this and circle around the other thing and because they're not cut and you've got to cut them. And I was cutting on two and a half inches too, which is shorter than I normally cut that area. But there was so many dandelions, I felt like I needed to cut it that low to save time. It didn't save any time as you saw. But anyway, onwards and upwards, on to the next one. Y'all can't see it, but I got the popo right next to me. That's why I'm kind of hanging back. Guys, this one here really ain't that bad. We're still gonna do it, but it ain't really that bad. I gotta go unlock the back gate and I'll show you the backyard. And I'll tell you right now, I'll be glad when that old, you see that looks like 
uh, cotton balls laying on the ground. I don't know what that is, but I'll tell you right now, when you cut it, it just, it feels the air. Let me get this gate unlocked here and I'll be right back with you. All right, I got it unlocked. Let's get her open. And, and this is the backyard. Now, let me show you a little, a little something, something here. See, we ain't got a lot of grass right now, guys. All we've got is this dead gum mess right here. I have no clue what this stuff is. But every so many years, it pops up. I'm hoping that when it gets hot uh, on a consistent basis, it will, uh, it'll disappear. I'm not sure. But the dandelions ain't as bad here as they were on the other job. Now this spot, that area right over in there, you can't get a mower in there because it'll slide down the hill. And if it gets stuck, there's a little drainage area right there. If it gets stuck right there, you won't never get it out. Trust me, I got the craftsman stuck in there and we like to never got it out. I have to weed eat that whole area almost all the way over to that 4x4 four four right there. So anyway, I'm going to get set up. We're going to get the front yard done. Then we'll get back here. Oh, I meant to tell you. This is one of the jobs uh, that I bought that 42 inch errands for. The Craftsman with the 46 inch deck would go through it. But if you can see that area right there, that's what the Craftsman deck was doing to it. So we're gonna get set up and get going. A little trick. If you have sit down mowers like I do, and it's sunny and bright and hot, flip your seats up. That'll save your behind. It's not a weed eater if it's a commercial machine, it's a string trimmer. Weed eater, string trimmer, potato, potato, or potato, tomato. Get my comfort trim shin guards on. I'd fight you for these things.
reason why I like this 131R. You got a big area like that to weed eat, it chews right through it and it takes about two minutes. Thought I'd give you a quick look down this way since I'm through. You see the stripes pretty good. That that uh, Aaron's striped surprisingly well to not have a stripe kit on it. But this is the front yard. So that's going to do it for this one. See you on the next one.
Yeah, there ain't a lot of cars in this parking lot over here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I got three cars parked over here. I hope I can make this turn. And not hit anything. Ooh, that's gonna be tight. That's gonna be tight, tight, tight. Daggone, I'm good. <laughs> Let me get this rig parked and see what we can do. Guys, I'm here at the job, but I just realized, uh, I, you know, I record with my cell phone, I, the camera on my cell phone. I don't have a GoPro or an extra phone or, you know, extra camera or anything. Not yet. But um, my phone is about dead. I mean, I've got it plugged in right now, as a matter of fact. And as you can see, it's it's plugged in. And so I'm going to have to let it charge. So that's going to be the end of this video. I wanted to get some footage on this job, but I'm just not going to be able to. So anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Be sure and click the like button, subscribe button. Guys, please click the like button. I want to get 100 likes on this video. So you can help me with that. You can share these videos and tell your friends to like this video. Excuse me, I am so sorry. But anyway, uh, click the like button, subscribe button, click the notification bell, and share these videos. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV, reminding you to live big, live southern, and live outdoors. Until we meet again, folks, have a good one.